An Ohio dad was frustrated with his kids' Common Core math, and he uploaded this picture to Facebook. It's a check written to his kid's school, but using strange Common Core symbols. Needless to say, the check could not be cashed, but the picture went viral. Why? Millions of parents hate Common Core. <laughs> they think it makes math unnecessarily complicated. I'm going to explain Common Core to you, and then I'm going to tell you why it's so bad. Here's a typical Common Core approach to a simple math problem. 8 plus 5 equals... Students are encouraged to get to friendly numbers like 10. How do you make that 8 into friendly 10? You add 2. So now you have to have 8 plus 2 plus 3. Now that's friendly 10 plus 3 equals 13. Yay! Some of you think that's a crazy way to do an easy math problem. But to me, it makes perfect sense because I'm a little bit weird. Common Core is made for people like me, people who struggled with math. I used to make up all sorts of my own common core type tricks to make it easier for me. These tricks are not a bad idea. It's just bad to teach them. You need kids to come up with their own tricks or else they're not really tricks. They're just a lot of extra work. Just like the trophy for every kid philosophy, today's education is about slowing down and focusing on the kids who are struggling instead of forcing them to catch up. And it's making everyone weaker. Jamie, I didn't even know if that monologue made sense until now, but it really uh, makes sense, doesn't it? It actually does make sense. I'm, a, I'm against Common Core, actually. Uh, but what you were saying kind of makes sense on, on if, if states want to do it on the local level. Because it looks stupid when you do low numbers like that. Yeah. Uh, 8 plus 5, everyone knows is 13. Uh, you don't have to do that to get I needed, there. when I was a kid, but, though, I needed that kind of weird trick. But if you do bigger numbers, and if, and if you're giving them in your head without a calculator, that's how you kind of do it. Uh, you kind of try to get to 900 if you're given 946 and minus things. So they're trying to teach you on a, a small level what to do on, on a larger level when you get more complex numbers. It kind of makes sense. Ben, you almost seem like you disagree. <sighs> Uh, Common Core is one of the worst things that's ever happened. It was a huge expansion of federal government. It should have never occurred. And I think the irony of a government of, uh, that is $19 trillion in debt attempting to give math advice to students is so unbelievably hypocritical. Mm. It would be like if Chris Brown went and did relationship training. It obviously would not work. <laughs> it would make no sense at all. So I think the federal government really uh, messed with an entire generation of children, and hopefully it can be uh, off the book soon. I agree with that, though. I, that didn't disagree with what I was saying. No, he said I disagreed. I yeah. didn't disagree. I it seemed like you were shaking your head, so I wondered if there was some disagreement. But the thing is, uh, Joanne, yeah. the reason Common Core came in here is because people like Bill Gates said, we need students to be better at math and sciences, and so they instituted this thing. Did they mm -hmm. just have the wrong idea? Well, of course we want our students to get better at math and science, but this is offering a one-way approach. Like you said, you were a little different. You needed a different way to solve these problems. But what about the other kids who that way doesn't work for, especially people with learning disabilities? No, no, I doing... had learning disability. But that's exactly. what it's for, I that's, think. But that's what I'm saying. Someone might have another disability where this doesn't make yes, sense to yes, them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I do think that there should be multiple ways to answer a problem. We should be teaching all of them to our kids. Um, and as for the dad who wrote the check, very great. Okay, it's funny. It's on Facebook. But how about like going to some PTA meetings or like yeah. actually doing something or really yeah. trying to understand it and help your kid out? Because right now she's stuck with it. So or he's stuck with it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, how are you going to help your kid? Oh, wow. Joanne slamming social media guy, huh? Mm -hmm. He is <laughs> actually. No, Unless he's, he's watching. Then thank you for watching. He <laughs> is watching and I thank him for watching. But he, di he did say he's social media exhausted because he's dealing with the praise and with the slams, which happens when you get out there. Right, Mark? I agree with you, and I agree with I agree with you. I, I have dyscalculia. I'm not. I can't compute numbers. I have oh, a did you make up that disease? I did, but <laughs> I have it. And I also agree with you that Chris Brown is a horrible person in a relationship. But my thing is, you do have to make up your own tricks. Like my friend's in a wheelchair, and before bed he would roll really fast on the way to the bed, and then hit the brakes and fly into bed. Mm. Now I don't need to do that. Yeah, you don't but need he to. Does. Learn that. Yes, it's the same with the core, common core, whatever <laughs> it's called. You gotta, sometimes you gotta make tricks, but I think this is bad news because it makes kids into <laughs> artists. Oh, eight plus nine is ten. And the teacher's like, what? Like, hold on, let me tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you pull out the graph paper and you start, you know, dicking around. You joke, but on these common core tests, when you write your answer, they don't grade the answer, they right. grade the description but, but, th that you... Yes, but that's, they show work. I mean, yes. that, I, I mean, that's how you actually, when you do calculus, that's how you do it. They usually grade your process of getting there. Mm -hmm. uh, and when you get to higher math, they, they an answer is important, but also the process of how but you got there could is you, important. Could you imagine having a job as a cashier when you're a teenager 
and you're trying to make change for someone and you have to do it quickly because right, there's right. a lot of people in line and you're like, oh, okay, uh, 10 minus uh, 4, it, you know, like Here's doing all of that, it doesn't make sense. They yeah. teach those tricks too, though. When you get a job at a cashier, they show you how to do the counting backwards where they say uh, 870, yeah, you're make the person wait third, as you explain that's it to them, and as they just want their Annie Ann's pretzel, I don't think so. Right. Uh -huh. But I think they should have, Ben, they should have a book that's common core and it should be optional. Like they yeah. should say artists and dummies and uh, uh -huh. people like, you know, people who can't <laughs> grasp these concepts. There's a special way for you. I totally agree with that. We did foster care when I was a child. We started in taking in foster brothers and sisters when I was 12 years old. And everyone learns differently, especially myself. The only reason I was able to graduate high school is because I helped out Walmart Teacher of the Year, Mrs. Kilsdonk. I helped her, uh, helped her take Singer sewing machines to the trunk of her car, and she gave Ooh, me a C. That's so there's many different ways there's to tricks. graduate high school. Yeah. I was tricks. I would yeah. cheat off the hairless kid. What? <laughs> <laughs> kid with no eyebrows. Right. That was my move. God bless you, Mrs. Kildonk.